All right. So we're going to get into analytical trig now that we're kind of dipped our toes into a little bit of solving some simple trig equations. Before we can get rid of the word simple, we need to actually learn analytical trig so we can actually be able to solve all types of trigonometric equations. So when we get into analytical trig, we're going to have to use things called trigonometric identities. And what I'm going to do is we're going to introduce, I'm going to introduce the three most basic trigonometric identities. The first one I'm going to introduce is called the ratio identity. So the ratio identity, and I'm just going to do ID for identity. The ratio identity is only going to be for tangent and cotangent. And if we remember from the unit circle, tangent was y over x and cotangent was x over y. Now we also remember from the unit circle that x was cosine theta and y is sine theta. So we're going to play the substitution game. We're going to take this y out and we're going to replace it with sine. And we're going to take this x out and replace it with cosine. And we're going to get that tangent of theta, while we know it is y over x because that is slope going through the origin, it is also sine of theta over cosine of theta. This is going to come in handy if I ask you to write tangent in terms of sine and cosine because then you would just simply say tangent is sine divided by cosine. We're going to do the same trick with cotangent, and this is x over y, so it's going to be cosine over sine. We're just going to play the substitution game. And those are my ratio identities. Now, if I ask you to write cotangent cubed theta in terms of sine and cosine. Well, I'm going to come up here and say, well, I know cotangent is cosine over sine. But this is cubed, so I have three of them. So I would write this as cosine cubed theta over sine cubed theta. And that's it. That's how you'll be able to write sine or tangent and cotangent in terms of sine and cosine by using the ratio identity. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzer, and these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics. <laughs>